Speaking of poop, I got to talk about these 71% of people mm -hmm. who say they've ended a friendship because of ghosting. Um, are you, you're familiar with what ghosting is, right, Andrew? Yes, I'm 100% familiar. Yeah, so for anybody listening who are not familiar, ghosting is basically uh, just a silent treatment, you know? Like, you don't have the guts to tell somebody that you, do, uh, that you don't want to talk to them anymore, so you just don't respond to their text messages, you don't hang out with them, you basically hope that they get the hint. 71% mm -hmm. of people say they've ended a friendship, the most common way to do it is ghosting and hoping they get the hint. Um, now, look, Andrew, I'm on both sides of this. I don't know where you are on mm -hmm. this. I've, I, on the one side, I've been a ghoster. I've been the guy that has been too cowardly to have the conversation with somebody. Uh, mm -hmm. and I've been, a, and I have been ghosted and I have been frustrated when I was ghosted and just said, you know what, instead of, uh, having me think in a million ways what I did wrong and what's going on and why haven't you responded, just let me know that you mm -hmm. don't want to talk to me anymore. And boom, that overthinking thing in my head goes off and I will move on. What do you think about this, Andrew? So I have been ghosted to the ultimate level. Oh no. My fiance ghosted me. What? What? <laughs> yes. Okay, stop. My fiance ghosted me. Stop everything. G please tell this story because your fiance, this is the person that said I want to marry you. Now now, mm -hmm. now what what exactly happened that led up to the ghosting? So we moved into a new home uh when we moved state. This was when I originally first moved to Texas. And Everything was great for the first couple of months, about six months into it. And we had been in a relationship about three years up to that point. And everything seemed fine. I was working. We got everybody on their feet. His kids were good. And I came home on Valentine's Day. Six months after being there, as soon as I walk in the house, all of the furniture is gone. All of his things are gone. The only thing that's left is a box of my clothes and my television in this apartment. Okay, so you you guys had no argument? There was no hints that he was just going to up and leave? Nope, there was no arguing. We had never had a fight with each other. We never even got on each other's nerves. So everything seemed fine to me. And when I came home, poof gone like a magic trick so my guess is is that he had a moment of panic like oh my god this is such an intense moment in my life about to be married to this guy like i gotta leave i gotta go i got i can't do this and then of course he mm. neglected to tell you wow so yeah. there's been no attempts on his part to reach out to him have you reached out to him and tried to figure out what was going on i mean i imagine that you did you probably were just like wait what, what what's going on <laughs> i tried to reach out to him initially and never got a response and he had never tried to contact me. His mother actually tried to get in contact with me. And I spoke to her briefly. And this was five years ago at this point. So now I'm just like, you know what? I got my closure and I've moved on. But ghosting never feels good. Oh, no. I mean, especially mm -hmm. on the romantic relationship level, if you're about to get married and there's no logical reason why the person would just up and leave you like that. I mean... My God. Mm -hmm. Now, now, be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, has that destroyed your faith in relationships? Because if I was in your position, I, that, that would probably do it for me. I, I, don't know, I don't know if I could ever recover from that. I mean, the great part about it is therapy is a great thing to get into. Oh, yeah. Um, I yep. definitely got myself a therapist. <laughs> yes. And as far as relationships, I haven't actually even tried to date anybody since then. And it's going on five plus years now. Yeah. So I've kind of just focused more on me and just having a good life with friends that I can just enjoy and love. Absolutely. Well, you know what? Good for you, Andrew. I, I mean, my God, a lot of people would probably uh, be catastrophic, maybe, uh, God forbid, end their life or, or just do mm -hmm. something really tragic to, uh, to as a way to respond to something so unfortunate like that. And the fact that you said, you know what? Screw it. I got my closure. Now, you know, mm -hmm. let me live my life the way I want to live it. I mean, that's, that's, that's all praise to you, man. I like that. I like that so much.